Okay, let's talk about alkenes again. Remember, you can have anything that's got a double bond is an alkene. Remember, we talked last time, we could have cis alkenes or trans alkenes, where the big group trans is where the big group is on opposite sides. Cis is where it's on the same side, or Z, remember, Z and Z, the other form, okay? So, you can have these types of alkenes. These are both called disubstituted alkenes. Why? Because they've got two substituents that are carbon, okay? So these are both disubstituted. So let's continue along with alkenes. So we can have this type of an alkene. This is called a monosubstituted alkene. Why? Because there's only one carbon bonded to it, right? So all of the other ones, all the other things bonded to the alkene, remember the functional group alkene are hydrogens. So we only have the one R group. Remember, R, R is just anything group. Monosubstituted, or we can call these terminal alkenes. Okay? Why? Because they're always at the end of a chain. Because if we got a hydrogen here, right? We can't add anything onto the other side of the chain. So these ones, are not terminal, right? Because there's a carbon on either side of the alkene. You guys see that? So here there's only a carbon on one side of the alkene. Here there's a carbon on both sides, right? Both sides. So we call these internal, okay? So internal. Internal alkenes, terminal alkenes. We can have tri-substituted alkenes. Like that. Okay, is that going to be a terminal alkene? What is it? Internal. Internal. Right? Internal. Right? Because why? Because there's a carbon here, a carbon here. We can add things on to any of those sides, right? This is called a tri substitute. And of course, we can also have a what? Very good. Hedron substituted. And is that a terminal alkene? No, it's an internal one. Why? Because we can add something on to all of those sides, right? Remember, we can't add something to a hydrogen. We can only make one bond. So here, the only type of terminal alkenes are monosubstituted. With tri-substituted, with di-substituted, tri-substituted, and tetra-substituted, we can have isomers. Remember geometric isomers that we talked about last time? So if the big groups are on the same side, we'll say A is bigger than B. Right? If this is a tetra-substituted, A and A, that's a 6, okay? So you got to watch that. So if we got A here, a here, B here, right? Trans. Okay, so all of the internals can be trans or cis. Okay, so watch for the geometric isomerization. And then there's some examples of alkenes, but since you can't see them on the video, I'll kill them. Any questions? Any questions on any of those? They're all alkenes, right? 